Hey guys, it's Alejandra and it's Friday morning and I was about to head out of the house and I was checking my email and I got an email a few days ago from somebody who wanted to know how to hang sheet metal inside of their cabinets. They saw a picture of that cabinet right there in the background. Um, this is my kitchen and um, they wanted to do the same thing inside their own cabinets. So I figured I'll just do a video um, because she's not the first person who's asked and instead of just like typing out boring instructions, it's a lot easier to learn when you have a video. So the first thing to do when you hang um, sheet metal inside your cabinets is to measure your cabinet and see how much sheet metal you want to hang. So for me, it was a no-brainer. Um, the cabinets that I have have this border around the edges that's a bit thicker than the inside of the cabinet, like where the sheet metal is. So I just measured the inside of the border and took that measurement and went to Home Depot. Um, when you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever hardware store, any hardware store is going to have the, the, um, the right material so you can really go anywhere. But when you go to Home Depot, you want to look for sheet metal and not aluminum. Aluminum looks very similar to sheet metal, but it's not magnetic. So you don't want to buy that because it's not going to work. Nothing's going to stick to it. But let me show you exactly what sheet metal looks like. It's going to come in like just a plain sheet like this. Um, it's actually, yeah. It's gonna come like this. The other side's decorated, but um, it's gonna come like this, and it's probably gonna come in like a 12 by 24, a 24 by 24, 48 by 48. It's probably not gonna come in the size that you need it, so you're gonna have to cut it. And it seems kind of difficult to cut because it's kind of thick and it's metal, but it's actually very simple to cut. So once you grab your sheet metal in the size that you need or the size that's closest to um, the size of your cabinet, you are going to want to get a pair of tin snips. Now tin snips are, um, they're made to cut through metal and they are, they come in different sizes. These are the small ones. They also have really large ones. Um, the reason I have these is because I picked them up for Ed um, when I got the small ones in case I couldn't cut the sheet metal myself. This was the first time I did it, but it's actually very simple to cut. So the small ones work great for me, um, but they come in two sizes. And if you don't already have a pair of all-purpose gloves, you're going to want to pick up a pair of gloves. Don't uh, use your tin snips to cut the sheet metal without wearing gloves because sheet metal is really sharp and it can just like pierce through your skin and cut you. So make sure you pick up gloves. Those are at Home Depot also. Okay, so after you have your sheet metal, you have your tin snips, you have your gloves, you're going to want to pick up uh, 3M multi-purpose adhesive spray. So this is pretty much just like a glue spray. It's It comes out like a um, like a spray paint. You just spray it and it's super sticky. Um, you have to be sure that you're positive you want to permanently hang the sheet metal inside your cabinets because if you use this stuff, the sheet metal is not coming off um, unless you like yank it off and then you're gonna destroy your cabinets. So make sure you're positive you wanna do this. And if you are, then use this stuff. Um, if you are not sure you want to have it permanent, you can try getting 3M mounting strips. Um, they are sold at Home Depot, Target has them, Container Store has them. Basically, they're just mounting strips that are um, sticky on both sides, and they're removable. They don't hold up as well as this stuff, but again, it's not, it's not a permanent solution. Okay, so once you have all your materials, you come back home, you cut your sheet metal, then you're gonna want to spray the sheet metal um, with your glue spray or line it with those mounting strips that I talked about. And then you're gonna wanna hold it against the cabinets for like, I don't know, like one to two minutes to make sure it, it, it's secure before you let go. And then um, after you glue it to the cabinet, you're gonna probably wanna wait like I'd probably wait like four or five hours before you actually hang something on it just to be sure that it's secure and in place. And once it's uh, secure, you can go ahead and put all your magnets from your fridge to your um, interior of your kitchen cabinet. And I, I love doing this because I don't like looking at the refrigerator on the outside and seeing like magnets everywhere and papers everywhere and pictures. That's just my personal style. Um, so if you want to hide some of the stuff, try this idea. Another idea, if you don't want to hang sheet metal and you want to make the project a little bit easier, 
you can use these corkboard squares that I just got these from Target. Container Store has them also. They are super easy to cut. You don't need tin snips, you can just use regular scissors. Cut them, um, spray them with the glue spray, mount them, and then just use a thumbtack to hang whatever you wanna hang inside your cabinets. Um, you can also do the same thing inside of like your bathroom cabinets or a cabinet um, in a piece of furniture or anything that has a door. Like it doesn't, doesn't only have to be a kitchen cabinet. So that's just another idea for you. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.